Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer practice lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. If you like these labs, please consider supporting me via my Patreon or the cryptocurrency options in the description. Also, please subscribe to the channel for more labs like this. In this lab, we will troubleshoot the topology we configured in the previous lab. Several misconfigurations are preventing our Ether channels from operating as intended. Let's troubleshoot the errors and fix them. First, let's take a look at switch one. Enable, show ether channel summary. So we have port channel one configured and it's layer two. However, it is down as this D indicates. The I next to the interfaces indicates standalone, meaning they aren't properly paired with interfaces on switch two to make the ether channel. However, you should be able to spot the problem here. The ether channel between switch one and switch two is supposed to be using PAGP, not LACP. That could be why switch one and switch two aren't successfully forming an ether channel. Let's change that. Conf T, interface range F01 through four, no channel group one. Also, just to be safe, I'll delete the port channel interface as well. No interface P01. Okay, let's reconfigure that. Interface range F01 through four, channel group one mode desirable. Do show ether channel summary. Okay, our port channel is working. However, F01 is down. Let's see what's up on switch two. Enable. Show Ether Channel Summary. F04, which is connected to Switch 1's F01, is down as well. Remember in the previous video I said port speed, duplex, etc. had to match for the Ether Channel to work? When one interface isn't properly joining the port channel, one of those things could be the problem. Show Interface F04. Full duplex, 10 megabits per second. Let's check other interfaces. Show interface F03. Full duplex, 100 megabits per second. Show interface F02. Again, 100 megabits per second. Show interface F01. 100 megabits per second. Let's also quickly check switch one's F01 interface. Do show interface F01. Again. 100 megabits per second. There's a problem. The other interfaces are all using a speed of 100 megabits per second. Let's adjust F04's speed to the same. Conf T, interface F04, speed 100. Do show ether channel summary. There we go. All interfaces now have the P flag beside them, meaning in port channel. However, Notice port channel 1, the ether channel with switch 3, is down. Gig 01 and gig 02 don't show up here. I'll add them quickly. Interface range G01 to 2. Channel group 1, mode on. Do show ether channel summary. Looks like it's up now. Let's check on switch 3. Enable. Show Ether Channel Summary. Look at port channel 1. It has the flags S and U. S means layer 2. That's not correct. It's supposed to be layer 3. It's showing U for in use here, but on switch 2 it said layer 3 down. Show IP interface G01. Show IP interface G02. Notice both interfaces state Internet protocol processing disabled. That means the interfaces are layer two, not layer three. And thus the port channel is layer two as well. Show run. Indeed, the gig01 and gig02 interfaces do not have the no switch port command configured. Let's configure it. Conf T, interface range G01 to two. No switch port. Notice the command is rejected. 
Switch 3 is already configured for a layer 2 ether channel. Let's undo that configuration and then redo it. No channel group 1. No interface PO1. Interface range G01 to 2. No switch port. Channel group 1 mode on. Also, let's give it an IP address. Interface PO1. IP address 23.0.0.2.255.255.255.0. Do show Ether channel summary. Looks good here. It's layer 3 now. Let's check once more on switch 2. Do show Ether channel summary. Okay, looks good here. Let's do one last check. Do ping 23.0.0.2. Okay, looks good. We can ping switch 3's end of the ether channel. Now let's go back to switch 3. Notice the port channel with switch 4 is down. All of the interfaces have the standalone flag. Let's take a look at the configuration. Do show run. Channel group 2 mode passive. Okay, now let's look at switch 4. Enable, show ether channel summary. Same thing here, show run. Okay, here's our problem. Both switches are in LACP passive mode. Passive mode and passive mode won't form an ether channel. At least one side has to be active. Let's make switch for active and see if that solves the problem. Conf T, interface range, F01 through 4, channel group 1, mode active. Do show ether channel summary. There we go. The port channel is up, and all interfaces have the in port channel flag. Let's confirm on switch 3 as well. Do show ether channel summary. Okay, looks good. We have fixed all of the problems with our ether channels. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comment section. If you want to support my channel, I accept Bitcoin and Ethereum donations via the addresses in the description. I am also a Brave verified publisher and accept BAT or basic attention token donations in the Brave browser.